What's up, good people? Mark Holtz here, as always. I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know it's not working. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. I've been running around like a crazy man with this guy. You know what? <laughs> Sometimes you just want to beat somebody down. I have been making chicken pasta for years. No, no, no. See, see, just, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. It's good. Literally, anytime there's a function, my wife and her girlfriends, are, oh, we got to have Mark's chicken pasta. You know, there was a show called Food Fighters. I actually auditioned it. That got me to the second round. Unfortunately, my personality got me kicked out of there. But they said the food pasta salad was good. And I've been doing that shit in, in my sleep and felt like I had perfected that shit. <laughs> so I got this motherfucker. I, this, and you, you know when I say this motherfucker, I'm pissed off. So I got this motherfucker here. I said, you know, he, he's like, I saw you doing some pasta salad there and stuff. I was like, yeah, you know, I said, I always do that for, you know, Allie was coming up and she wants some chicken pasta. So she took a whole bunch of that home to her kids and everything else because, you know, they all love it. So I gave this motherfucker some of it. He was like, oh, yeah, what's in it? And I'm like, okay. He's like, you know, <laughs> you know, you ought to try and like fire roast the vet. And it's like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, it would give it a nice summer autumn feel, man. I'm telling you, that drink pop. See what the fuck I'm talking about? <laughs> this motherfucker here. He's basically saying, you know, it's kind of like when somebody comes in and says, I don't mean any disrespect. <laughs> but they go through a disrespect. Oh, it was it it was good, but <laughs> it was good though, See? man. It was real good. Anyway, we have some good news. Noah Brown is off of the COVID list. Um, that's the good news. He's eligible to play, although he has not practiced basically the last month. So we talking about practice, none of which he's had in a while. So probably, hopefully, they won't need him tomorrow night. That's not what you really want to know. What you really want to know is what's up with Zach Martin. It's right now expected that he won't play. That's not to say that he won't play, but right now it's not looking good because, again, if they're saying they're not expecting to play, that means he probably has not had a uh, negative test yet. Now, it is possible he takes a test this afternoon, and it's a, it, it's not a, it's a negative test. Man, can't even speak. And if that's the case, he can take another one tomorrow, but logistically, then it means game day he's going from Dallas to Tampa. So... Right now, it's not looking good as far as Zach Martin being there. I'm sad to have to report. But we got everybody else that's there. Um, of course, nobody gives us a chance. No. No, no. They pretty much have us already buried. Vegas, everybody. Mm -hmm. But see, Vegas, eh, here's the thing about Vegas. Sometimes it's not about who they really think is going to win or lose. What it's about is trying to get the betting balanced on there. And so when you start, what that says is all the money is on Tampa Bay. What they want is they want money also on Dallas, which is why you expand the, the betting line. Because if all the money is on Tampa, Tampa wins, then shit, we got to pay everything out. So you're trying to entice the other team. You know what I mean? So that way people are betting both sides. That way they don't lose. Maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. I am kind of crazy. But we'll have to wait and see tomorrow night. That's why they play the game. And uh, I don't know if you're putting any money on it or not. Um, me? I ain't got no money on it. Mainly because I ain't got no money. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a great day. And uh, I got to get this motherfucking chef. <laughs> see, you, you see what's happened here, right? He calls me up and said, hey. We gotta eat tomorrow. So I need you to show for me around. Because <laughs> if I'm cooking the meal, I should at least be able to pick out the groceries. So you see what I'm doing now. I am just the uh, chauffeur for the chef. I'm Mark Holmes with David Wiley. 
this motherfucker. I'll see you guys later. Peace.